on, Anu. Come on, boy. Up. Come on. My name is Norman. I was born here in the Rockies, in these wild valleys, and I couldn't live anywhere else. I've been breathing this air and basking in this light for over 50 years. Nanook is my partner, my most loyal companion. I have a pack of seven dogs, and he's the leader. I take him with me wherever I go. Nebraska and your friends. So? It wasn't bad, but it looks like they did more clear-cutting over there. If they keep it up like this, there won't be any forest left. It's really bad. Did you find anything? Well, I found some marten and quite a few beaver. Beaver doesn't pay much. No, I know. They're easier to catch. I'll just probably have to go further on west over there. And if you don't find anything... Then I'll have to quit. I'll have to move town. You'll never quit. You know, there's not much choice. Maybe I'll have to get a job in town. In town? You? <laughs> yeah, me. So how are things here? Oh, pretty quiet. Dogs missed you. I missed you. Are you gonna take the horses next time? No, I'm gonna take the canoe, but I have to fix it first. Got pretty beat up in the rapids. There are my dogs. How are you? What are you doing, Minnick? What are you doing? What are you doing, Minnick? <laughs> <laughs> and you, Ross? How are you? Huh? Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry, boy? Huh? Hey, hey, hey. Evoke. Are you hungry? Here you go. Nebraska and I have been together for 15 years. And she likes this way of life as much as I do. Both of us are in harmony with the wild. We can identify every sound and interpret every sign, every movement. And some people think this is a hostile environment, but I like it here because it's pure and simple. I can live life at my own pace.
but we have to leave this paradise. Forestry companies are moving deeper and deeper into the region. They cut down hundreds of acres at a time without leaving a single tree standing, even though they could easily do things differently. They've already taken up most of our trap line and built lots of roads. The animals are leaving, and we'll soon have to as well. Looks like there are a lot of cracks. Yeah, I think it's my fault. I probably let it dry out too much. That's okay. I'll patch it up and it should work anyway. I've decided to go explore another valley. It's getting too hard to find fur-bearing animals around here. And since the price of skins keeps going down, I can't make ends meet. I don't mind exploring, but it can be dangerous. And I don't have much time. Fall is coming, and we have to find a new trap line and move there before winter, or else I'll miss trapping season.
Come on, hey boy. Hey. Come on. It's not so bad here, eh? Hey, no, no. What do you say? Come here. Good boy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I think I found our new trap line. It's full of animals, and there are no signs of logging. From here, it'll take me a good five days to get to Dawson. That's the town I go to from time to time to sell my skins and pick up whatever I can't find in nature. I can't waste any more time. Tomorrow, I'll make the first trip with the horses. Nebraska can pack the rest of our things. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Okay? Good boy. Hey, good boy. I could have picked a better place to cross the river, couldn't I? My happiness has a lot to do with how I relate to the land around me. I don't just admire it. I'm a, I'm a part of it. People should never have lost contact with nature. We need to share with the environment. If humankind is to survive, we have to start living with nature, not against it.
Hey, buddy, good boy. Two more, and that's it for today. He's been working hard, the poor thing. Yeah, he has been. Really nice view out these windows. Yeah, it'll be kind of nice sitting over here in the winter time. Maybe nine more logs go up until we put on the roof. Once that's done, we can manage to move in. It won't be bad. Actually, I gotta go to Boston get some stuff for the winter anyway, so I'd rather see you in the cabin than in the tent by the time I leave, eh? for Dawson tomorrow? Yeah. I want to take the horses there before there's too much snow. You shouldn't have too much to worry about the grizzlies, though, leaving the dogs here with you. I think I got everything pretty well. Oh. I think you forgot this. Oh, okay, yeah, right. And um, you take care. We'll see you in about a week. Okay. So we're gone for that long? Yeah. You know, it'll take about two days longer to get to Dawson from here than it used to. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> See you later. Okay, stay safe. Hey? Stay safe. Yeah. Come on. Come on, under. Come on, Nanook.
the light. So, uh, where'd you leave those horses of yours for the winter? I left them up at Dennis's place there. Dennis's? You know, the French guy there. Oh, oh the Frenchman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, they'll be all right. If we didn't get through the passes there before the snow, well, we were gonna end up keeping the horses for the winter, and I didn't want that, eh? Yeah, this will do the trick, Norm. Take good care of Leo there, Martin. Sure will. Got everything you need, George? I do. Thanks, Kemp. Catch you again. Yeah, I thought I had some of this down there someplace. Ah, uh, it'll work for all sorts of things. Chest, head cold, or earache. Yeah. Yeah. How much for a box like this? Ah, uh, forget it. Oh, that's nice of you. I appreciate it. Well, I envy you, you know. I always wished I'd done some trapping. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see about that window glass, eh? Five and a half, uh, right there. So, you're still over in the Johns Lake area, Norm? No, the loggers were coming in there anyways, cutting everything. Mm. So, where are you gonna be now? Well, I went right over the pass. I'm over in the Fish Lake area now. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice country. Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Sorry. What happened? It just came out of nowhere. No way I could stop in all this snow. It'll be all right. I'm gonna be a belly dancer. I'm gonna be a belly dancer. I'm gonna be a belly Carried him back to the shop, but there was nothing we can do. It was already too late. We better hurry up, load it up, Norm. Clouds are dropping down pretty good here. And those passes are gonna close up in the mountains pretty soon. Well, he's just bringing the windows down now, so that's pretty much the last of it, I think. Morning. 
Morning. I brought your windows. Oh, right on. Created them up. See? Oh, good. It'll be good that way. Brought you something else. Oh, yeah? She's ten months old. She loves to run. Her mother was duty. You must have heard of her. No. She won the Iditarod race one year. Wow. Don't really need a racing dog. Come on, girl. She's pretty scared and skittish. Oh, she's just a little shy. She doesn't know you yet. You'll get used to each other. That's a girl. Come on, girl. Come on. I think she'll be really good in the team once she gets used to you. Huh? That's a girl. Come on. Where you go? You go with Norma. Come on. Come on. Good girl. All right, come on. There she is. Right. You have a good winter, eh, Norm? Yeah, I hope to anyway, yeah. Yeah. So, Norm, what do you think? About what? About the dog. Oh, I don't know. I need a heavier pulling dog. I'm not into racing dogs. That store owner is such a nice guy, it's hard to say no, eh? I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I can't even leave her tied up with the others. Well, it's just because she's never run with the rest of them before. By the way, what dog are you taking hunting with you? Not her, that's for sure. You're not taking any other dog? Which one? How about Vogue? He was never trained for that. I'll just go by myself. Where are you going? I'm going down where there's no snow. That's where the moose will be. I have to hunt. Or trap. It's my livelihood. But it's more than that, too. I don't think any species is necessarily harmful to nature. I'm convinced that man has a role to play. We also help maintain the balance of the ecosystem, as they say. As long as we take only what we need, just like animals do. Take away, but don't endanger. That's the trapper's motto.
got to find her for me now. Go on. Go find her. Go find her. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. That's it. You found When I kill an animal, I tell it why. I explain what I'm going to do with its skin and its meat. I don't ask it for forgiveness. No, I thank it. I learned that from the Nescapi. Hey, Norm. Hi. So did you find one? Yeah. I had to go all the way down to Social Marsh. There isn't even snow there yet. Well, I don't quite know how to tell you this, but um, earlier today, Apache kind of got loose. I know, she found me. Found me at a very bad time, too. What happened? Uh, anyways, I cut all the meat up, wrapped it in a tarp and put it in the cache. Probably 600 pounds of meat. Should last us and the dogs over January. By that time, the caribou will be moving. Mm -hmm. I'll go up on the high plateau and hunt them. Then I'll go back with the sled and get the meat after the snow comes. Well, if you want, what I could do is I could always go get it. I'll take the sled, and I wouldn't mind running a pash. All right. I'll get going on the trap line. I've wasted enough time waiting for winter to come. Look, it's all white up there. Come on, Nabucco. Come on, Minnick. Where'd she go? Apash? Apash! to Vogue for a little bit? I just want to run the team with a patch to see how it'll go. It's not gonna work anyways. Oh, it'll be all right. Okay, you ready? Go. Okay, hang on a minute. I told you, it's not gonna work. You're just gonna waste your whole day. Oh, that's all right. I've got all day. Well, you go ahead then. I don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're ready to go. You're ready to go and take care of Apache.
Cash, go! Go, come on! Good girl! Good girl! Go! By the river's dark, where I could not see. Who was waiting there? You're starting to get used to the rest of the team. That's great. Oh, you too, Nabucco. Good boy. Trapping season's finally begun. I don't know what I'm actually gonna find on my new trap line. I have to get to know the area. I have to enter in, into a conversation with it, and with everything that lives in it. I have to turn this new land into an ally, and the first trap is my first encounter with it. Laying traps takes time, patience, and concentration. What? A pash. Yeah. You know, if she just follows alongside Volk, you know, you know, if we didn't have her at all, it'd be the same thing. Oh, come on, just give her a bit of time. She'll be all right. I don't think time's gonna make anything, you know. You'll be okay, girl. You'll be all right. Hey, Volk, she'll be fine. The problem in the far north today is that animal populations are decreasing because there are fewer and fewer trappers. Now, that might seem like a contradiction, but without us, the wildlife wouldn't do as well. Trappers help control populations by taking small numbers of animals from their land. They eliminate weaker individuals and prevent species from multiplying at the expense of others, which encourages growth. I'm one of the last trappers here, and I feel like I'm the guardian of this land. 
But I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Lord knows, I love this life, though. keep some for myself. And what do you think? You know, with it being this cold out, I'll be able to cross the lake tomorrow and have a look at the rest of the line. So early? Yeah. Well, it's 40 below. It's gonna get colder. Yeah, everything's gonna be froze. Hmm. You're gonna take the shortcut through the canyon or go straight on? No, no, I'll go through the canyon. And at this time of year, if the dogs can make a few kilometers a day, it'll be good. I'll also break the beginning of the trail with Alex's. Well, it's one nice thing, a good thing. I can go visit Alex. It's been a long time since I've seen him. Wonder how he's doing all alone up there. Are you taking a patch? I can, but it's not gonna help. You should probably take her. It'll do her some good to run with the rest of the team. <laughs> Who are you training as a new leader? Volk. Anyway, he's too old. He'll never be as good as Nanook. Not by far. He's, he's almost 12 years old. But this is probably our last year anyways. When you see Alex, you can talk with him about that. Yeah, I'll go see him after I finish checking out the line. Now what? So she's just got a little cut on her foot. I'm just putting a little booty on her leg. I told you those racing dogs were no good. <laughs> oh, she'll be all right. By the time you get that boot on, she'll lose it right down the hill there. Just be gone. No sense. She'll be all right. Well, you go ahead and put it on, but it has nothing to do with me. Mm. She's the only one on the team, you know. You worry too much. Anyways, I gotta go. Okay, well... Ah!
Yes. That's it. Yes. Come up, Ash. A pash! Come on, pash! Come on, pash! Come on! Come on, pash! Come on! Good girl! Come on! Come on! Okay, okay. Warm up my hands. Come back, you see my life. Huh? Oh. Yeah, what a good girl. Yeah. You came back for me. I don't ever forget that. My fingers are starting to warm up. I gotta get a fire going before they freeze up again. Watch your nose, little girl. Hmm? Very sharp knife, you're gonna get your nose cut. Yes. Yes. Hey, Volk. Hey? <laughs> It looks like you got a thing for a pash. Yeah, you like her, eh? You're right, Volk. She's not bad at all. Hey? 
she's a good girl, eh? Yeah. Hey? <laughs> no, no, Volk. You stay. Volk? No. No, pussy. Never go, no. No. No, Minnick. No. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, good girl. Listen to Volk. Yes. You have to listen to Volk. If you're gonna go down there, I know you haven't been on the ice much before, but you have to trust Volk. You have to go there. We have to go that way, right there. No matter what, we have to. Yeah, you'll learn. But you have to do as Volk. I know we might find open water, but it won't be dangerous this time. You'll learn. Okay, okay. Good girl, that's it. That's it, a patch. That's it. Good girl. Good. Dog, yeah, you know. Hmm. Eh? Yeah. You know what, Apache? Hey? You know what? I think Volk's in love with you. Mm -hmm. I really do. <laughs> Do you hear me? Over. Alex, Alex, do you hear me? Uh, 
Who is it? Who is it? It's me, Norm. Norman. Oh, it's you, Norman. Yes, you're coming in loud and clear. How you doing over there, Norm? Fine. Very good. And you? Fine. Fine. I'm doing okay. Just a little lonesome is all, Norm. What about I come over and visit with you in a few days? Oh, that'd be fine, Norm. I'll be looking for you. Okay, then. I'll see you in a few days. Over and out. Didn't you say last time that it was too far and too dangerous to be going again this time of year? Well, with that cold weather we've had, it shouldn't be too bad. The ice should be good and thick. It shouldn't be too bad traveling. So are you going to talk to him? About what? About quitting. That's not what I want. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to him. Okay, good. Can you pass me the map, please? Did your pa still hurt a pesh? 
Hey, let's have a look. Hey? Oh, 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 it's gonna be all right. Yeah, it's gonna be better. Good girl. Okay, come on. Okay, move. Come on. You know, many years ago, Alex lost all ten of his dogs because he went too far away from them one night. Wolves hate dogs, and without a man around, they'll kill them in no time. That story really taught me a lesson. I never leave my dogs alone anymore. Wolves never attack people, though. That only happens in books. The natives say that the northern lights shimmer more when you whistle. I find that wolves howl more when the sky is full of all those colors. It must inspire them. to see you. How is the trip? It would have been a lot harder if it hadn't been for that lead dog there. He's even training that young female, see? The young one beside him? Uh-huh. Well, anyway, come on in and have some tea. Sounds good, sounds good, buddy. And visit. Um, uh, another cup of tea, Norm? I'd love one. You know my dogs there. They saved my life a while back, eh? You're not worried being out there with no dogs, just a snow machine? Well, I can't handle the dog team. Very good anymore, you know. Well, 
boils down to it, it's either the snow machine or I'd have to quit altogether. Yeah, it's just the way it goes. That's the way it goes, you know. You get older and can't handle the dogs. You have to... Can't handle them after you get a little older, you know. And, uh, and Norm, you used to do good. You used to bring a bunch of fur. I remember you coming into Dawson City with a whole bunch of fur. When you're prospecting or trapping, it's not so much finding it. It's just being there to look for it. Norm, the healthy outdoor life, that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's why you and me, back on the trap line every winter. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I keep telling myself I gotta stop. It just getting too hard with all this new legislation. You know, with all the trap lines they're reclaiming so they can cut the wood. Um, you know, some of the animal population's gonna go up. Others are just gonna disappear. There's nobody left to regulate it, you know? Well, that's why we have to stay. Otherwise, who's going to look after all this land? Norm, I'm glad you dropped over. It's nice to see you. Yeah, I was thinking. On the way back, I think I'm going to go through the ravine. It'll be a lot shorter. Even with a new machine, I wouldn't go that way. Yeah, you know the dogs, eh? Mm-hmm. They'll go with that snow machine, won't. Hmm? That's right, you know. That machine's... Yeah, poor company, too. It, it's not like having dogs around. Yeah. Yeah, the only company I got is their... Whiskey Duck. <laughs> well, take care, Norm, because it's dangerous. You know, very dangerous. Next time you're in Dawson City, you should come by to see my new place. It'll be nice. I should have listened to Alex, eh? Huh? I should have listened to Alex. He's always right, you know. Told me that was pretty steep, but I wouldn't believe him. Huh? Yeah. Huh? What are you doing? Don't you have enough trouble? You gonna start fighting again, too? Good. Be good.
<laughs> look at you. No, you look comfy. I thought we had four. Um, no, these are it. It's pretty good. Not too bad, really. But you know, there's still not even $5,000 worth here. Well, some people say the price of fur will go up again. They've been saying that for five years, but it hasn't, you know. You know the price.
So you still haven't lost your touch, eh, Alex? <laughs> yeah, look at that, huh? Got a nice one. Yeah. With spring coming on, I use fat. Yeah, it seems to work better than using meat. Well, I'll have to try that. Yeah. yeah that's right. It's for you. Hey, Rox, you want some? Here. Uh, he won't quit. Don't worry, Nebraska. You know, I never told you this before, but one day he'll have my trap line. And it's the best. Norman is just like a son to me. It's his to have. I'm kind of old, you know, to continue trapping. And Norm... He'll keep it. Mm. But then what? And then, and then that'll be it. This vast Northland will just turn into a desert. It's nature that'll lose out, you know. Yeah. Man is indispensable. We're responsible for keeping things in balance. Anyways, I think it might be a quick trip. Because I'm going to go over the pass. And Alex went around a few days ago. I should hit trail on the other side. So? Anyways, I should go. Okay, you've got everything? Yeah, I think so now. Okay. 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 See you when I get back. Okay. Okay! Have a good trip. Yeah. No drinking in Dawson! <laughs> okay! Hi. Hey. 
Don's not around? Uh, no, no. Don went to, um, Vancouver for the week. Uh, I got a bag of fur here. You want to see him? Sure, bring him here. Uh, uh, it's going to be different, a white man selling fur to an Indian? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know nowadays. <laughs> nice little lynx here, eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not bad color, eh? Uh-huh. Pretty big, too, huh? Furs rise a little bit here. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever go high enough, though. Uh, you know that, um, Don does the price, and I, I, I just do the receipts, huh? Oh, here I was hoping I could deal you down, deal you up. <laughs> <laughs> the bargain. <laughs> I heard that Alex came to see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been there. Come over. Came over uh, a while back. We did some fishing, eh? Oh, yeah? Stayed there long? Ah, a few days. Yeah. Ah, he's such a good trapper, though. He's, you know, 60 years in the bush. He's still got more than I'll ever know, you know? <laughs> yeah. Good people, Alex. How you been? Pretty good. Right on. Norman. Hey there. Good to see you. How you doing? How's your season? Oh, not too bad, you know. A little warm, yeah. not very long, but well, you look pretty good. You're looking good. Wow. Hey, how's that new dog working on you? It's cool. Uh, well, at first she wasn't all that good, but you know, I put her up with the old lead dog there. She's picking up pretty quick. Good. Not a bad little dog then. Not yeah. too bad, not too bad at all. She's gonna be good, you know? She's yeah. She's gonna be pretty fair. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Right on. Good, what do you call her, by the way? The Pash. And why is that? Oh, I don't know, just, you know, gotta call him something, and name's the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have a good season, though? Yeah, not too bad, but uh, right around 150. All right, Martin? Yeah. I've got a couple of lynx and a couple of wolverine and, and other stuff, but the Martin is the cash crop, eh? Yeah. Well, what are the prices like this year? Um, I heard they came up a little bit, but I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get a very good average. Hey, Norm, you know the price within a few bucks anyway. Yeah, but now, like I say, I still gotta figure out what I'm gonna get for my, you know, for my fur. Come back one spring, well then good. Yeah? Yeah. So should we go out and look for you? No. Nope. No? Nope. Just uh, leave nope. you out there. Well, you can look for Nebraska, my dog. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, we'll do uh, that. Not for me. Not for you. Nope. No. Nope. It yeah, means, right. it means I am dead, I'm gone. No. And you know what? You know what death is? What? Death is so, it's a continuation of life. Yeah. But everything that dies, you got five animals that will live. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm an animal. So, we're cutting it all? Yeah, except the mustache. Yeah, the big spring shearing. Most animals just shed in the spring. Unless we gotta pay somebody to cut it off.
Norm, if we're only hunting for one more season, why did you spend so much effort on the cabin this time? I don't know. <laughs>